Hi everyone, John here from techyreview.com and recently I wanted to take the props or the prop guards off my DJI Phantom. Um, they were getting in the way of a you know, few of my videos uh, so I decided to take them off. And the way they fit on is you basically just remove the two of these screws here, this goes back on and you get a slightly longer screw that goes through there. And unfortunately what I completely and totally forgot after taking them off the longer screws I put back in and unfortunately what happens is they go straight up into the motor and I damaged all four motors. So I have recently got uh, some new ones which I'm going to sort of show you a quick video on how to replace them but to give you an idea as to what's happening when I switch on my Phantom now so that I can turn it on quickly. Right if you watch some of the motors they'll just jitter backwards and forwards. You can see the one down here. It just either slowly spins, or in that case, there's only one that's actually working at the moment. Anyway, so what this video is, is going to show you how to replace the motors on your DJI if you ever get this problem. So, okay, so probably one of the first things you want to do is obviously make sure you've removed the battery, make sure you've remo removed or your props and then underneath there are going to be four screws on each leg to actually remove the top shell and then a further four screws to take off the motors. Now on each leg you've got one screw at the very end which is Phillips and then you've got another three screws just here and you need to remove all these screws to actually get the top this top shell of the case off. So I've undone most of them already and I've just got the ones at the ends of each of the arms to do for to do now. Be very careful because the GPS module is housed in in that section and there is a cable that you need to detach first before the top shell will completely come away. Alright, so those screws, put them somewhere safely. Alright, so you flip it over and And as you can see, there is this cable, which is your GPS module, and that will very, very, very simply just pull out. Not much force needed, and then all that will come away. And then you can see each of your motors, the wires that you need to uh, to remove to actually take the motor off, and then obviously you've got your four screws. Will actually detach the motor completely. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this. Now I've already replaced one and what I did was actually cut the old motor, cut the cable from the old motor away leaving me a bit of cable between the uh, ECS board and obviously the motor and then soldered and then used heat shrink to protect it. Um, if you are feeling a, a, you know, a little bit more brave you can actually sort of desolder those and then solder the motor directly to the board. Um, my soldering skills aren't great and I will probably opt for this version um, each time. So I'm not overly comfortable sort of soldering too close, especially next to a lot of chips there. So um, I'm gonna go for this one. So I've done one already and I'm gonna go ahead and then replace the other three. And then hopefully this will see my DJI back in the skies. So go on to the next part and I'll uh, show you how I'm cutting or where I'm cutting to give me some cable length and how I go about doing the next stage. Okay so I'm going to start with this motor first. Um, so what you want to do is get yourself some heat shrink and just cut off a couple of centimeters in, in length. Okay, and then we're going to put those on in a second. Right, and then for your soldering iron, um, I'm not, my DIY skills at things like this aren't brilliant, they really aren't. Um, and essentially, what I've done is I've gone and bought myself a new soldering, soldering tip, just to make sure that I can get, you know, a good clean soldering joint, or one as, uh, as good as I can possibly get. 
Okay, so you also want to make a note of obviously the motor you're replacing because obviously with these you've got ones with black tips and then just the silver tip. So you just want to make sure that you're getting the right motor clockwise or counterclockwise. So let me just undo this one here. And now these are the the official DJI replacement motors. Okay, so what have we got there? Okie dokie. So, replacement motor, exactly the same. Now, obviously, you can see you've got a, a length, a length of cable already on there. And if your skills are good enough, mine aren't. You can go ahead and do it directly solder to the AC board. Mine aren't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut closer to the motor, basically give me plenty of cable this side so I can sort of solder away from the actual board itself. Now I'm just going to use a pair of scissors just to cut, cut directly across and then underneath there are just four screws which we can reuse again after we've taken the motor out or with the replacement motors you actually do get a little bag of screws. If I ever use the prop guards, just make sure that you remember that the screws are different lengths. Oops. All right. Okay. One motor, one old motor. And when you actually turn it, you can feel there is, there is definitely, that's quite a smooth turn. Whereas this one, you can definitely feel it doesn't, there's a bit of resistance there. Oops. I've dropped it again. Anyway, I don't need that. Right. Let's get a bit. Get rid of the rubbish, let's create a bit of space. Right. So, so what we're going to do is basically solder those joints together, mount that back there, and hopefully we have a working motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to secure this motor back, back on. Right, I do have a bit of a helping hand. I'm going to use that just to hold some of my wires as I'm soldering. Okay, put that up the way for a second a moment. Right, so what we need to do is just cut these back a little bit. So we have got some wires and we just need to tin them very, very briefly, just tin them and then join them together. Like I keep saying, my soldering techniques are not great. So this is up by no means is going to be a work of art. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to just twist these before I tin them. Just to really make sure there are no loose wires or wire strands. Let's see what I'm doing. So, sorry if that's off camera. Now, this is a first for me, so if it goes all, all wrong, I won't be surprised. But yeah, this is a first for me. I would have either let somebody else do this or uh, yeah just left it anyway so now that I've got those two what I'm going to do is because I'm only going to forget is actually going to put these little pieces of heat shrink over over the cables now push them down you want to push them just out of the way for the moment it doesn't really matter how long you have them just as just enough so you know you will at least just to cover obviously your soldering joint to protect it um, Right, next job. 
So I'm trying to keep these away from the actual ESC board in there. So I'm going to just try and solder them or just tin them just, just very gently. Make sure your soldering iron is nice and hard. I mean, if you've got, you know, this, anyone can really do this. You just got to have a bit of patience. Um, is really all that is required. So while I wait for the soldering iron to warm up, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest off because basically what I'm going to do here is what I'm going to do with the other motors. So it's a case of once you've done one, you do exactly the same procedure for the other two. So I'm going to go ahead while the soldering iron is warming up, I'm going to go ahead, take the other two off, um, get them ready, and then I'll be back for when I'm back to join this up. And then ultimately we'll be back to do a test to make sure all the new motors are working and then um, dare I do it do a flight test just to make sure <laughs> and so you might get it get to see it crash um, but anyway we'll do a flight test and we'll see what happens anyway see you shortly all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just tin the ends of each of these that we've cut so I've gone ahead and cut everything I've put the heat shrink wrap on everything um, I've, I've stripped them back and basically we're just going to tin these and then we'll start the process of soldering the, the sort of two wires together and then testing to make sure everything is in order so uh, this is where a little helping hand comes in and essentially what I'm just going to do is take one of the wires just clip it and hold it like that so then that leaves move these other ones out of the way it just then means I can concentrate on holding and soldering that so let's just tin, tin the ends first let's get on just tin the end of it now like I said before I'm not the very skilled at this um, I made sure I did get a nice sort of new clean tip uh, for doing this Okay, so for the final stage, what I've done is use my little helping hand here, and we're just going to basically solder, you know, the cables together. So it's black to black, red to red, yellow to yellow, and we have to do this for each of the motors. And once we've done, we can sort of pull the heat shrink over, heat it up with a hairdryer or something like that, and that will shrink and keep that connection uh, nice and safe. Uh, but before you want to put the heat shrink on, you actually want to test your motors first. So uh, let's just go ahead. And just try to make this first connection. Not if you want too much solder there, because obviously you want a nice big bubble connecting the two. But then if you leave it too long, like I've just done, it heats up and gets hot. Uh, let's just cool, let, let it cool down and wait a second. Okay. And if you can really see that very well, but that looks seems sort of not really focusing in there very well. I've got soldering iron in my hand and burn everything. Um, there you go, you see that, that seems quite a good connection, 
And let me just do that again for the next two cables and say it's just color to color. So that's the black one out of the way. Let's do red to red. You'll see that. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit more solder on this one here. This is the one that comes for the motor. I'm just, I think it's just lacking. Nice connection again there. Right. So as you can see, we're all nicely connected. Okay, as you can see now, I have done all the heat shrinking. Um, all nice and tight there. So all I've got to do now is left is to put the lid back on. So that again we want to just make sure obviously that we get this connected the right way that plugs in Oops. just need to tidy these wires up a bit and you know just make sure just tuck them in nicely like that put all your screws back in and then we'll go and take for a test flight and I'll see you outside